Hey guys, after I did the video on building RC planes cheaper, I decided to follow up with another segment on buying batteries cheaper. Now, this is an interesting topic because there's a lot of religion out there, but what I found by doing some of the reading is that most of what you're going to find is anecdotal, meaning it's opinion. There's not a whole lot of material that I was able to find that is objective, fact-based, scientific, proven evidence that says one brand of LiPo battery is better than another. So with that in mind, if we spend a little time taking a look at what's available in the marketplace, I think you'd be surprised at what your options are and what the substitutes are. And why this matters to you, or why this should matter to you is, let me just ask a simple question. If I were to ask you how much money you make in a year, and then I were to tell you, I could increase that by 15%. Would you be interested? What if I said I could increase it by 50%? Would you be interested in that? What if I told you I could give you car A and car B, and there's no material difference between the two, but car B is 50% more? Would you be willing to give me that 50% premium? Because if you would, I'm gonna need you to come to Florida, I'm gonna sell you a car. After the break, I want to get into this material and, and talk about it in a little bit more detail and show you some results that you might find alarming. Okay, before I get into the price discussion, I just did a little simple search on how LiPo batteries are made. You can do the same search in Google. There's nothing mysterious about what I did here. and. I, the first one that came up was this Genzase factory tour, and I, I looked at it, and, and it's a good video, but it's, it's a typical factory tour, right, where they just kind of show you, they, they do scans on, on what's going on inside the, the factory. And then I found this one, and this one, and this one, and I looked at a handful of these videos, and here's the thing, every single one of these is the same thing. They're all using the same chemicals, the same materials, the same construction process. Sure, there's a different name on the building. Sure, there's maybe a different guy running the press or running the machine. But the reality is when it comes to assembling LiPo batteries, I found another thing that I'll share with you right here. According to Forbes, China produces 75% of the global lithium cell manufacturing capacity. Okay, so what that means is all the LiPo batteries that you buy, they're probably coming from China. So it's not like you can sit and say, well, it's an American-made product, so it's better. <laughs> They're probably all coming from China. And when you look at these videos, you'll notice the, the names on the buildings are in Chinese. Or, or so, I, I got to backpedal a little bit because I don't read Chinese. I'm just going to assume that they're Chinese because I can't tell you because I, I can't read Chinese. But they're not, it, the point of the matter is 73% of them are made overseas in Chinese factories using processes that when you look at these videos are all essentially identical. It's real easy to say, well, I bought brand X and it puffed. And, and I've talked about this before in the channel. So what? The world's not perfect. Out of all these batteries that you see, uh, sure, there's a couple that puff, but the rest of them are normal. <laughs> They're normal batteries occasionally I might see one puff but I can't tell you that that battery puffed because of poor quality or poor construction techniques it probably puffed because I put 180 flights on the damn thing okay so point of the story here is that yes there's a lot of anecdotal points of view about batteries and batteries that puff but I'm gonna maintain that until someone can show me some sort of scientific proof or evidence that one construction technique is better than another and i'm not talking about different chemistries like don't throw graphene into the mix i'm just talking about lipo right a generic lipo battery what i'm going to assert here is that all of these lipo batteries that we're about to cover are equitable substitutes meaning you could trade one for the other and expect a reasonable level of performance okay so with that in mind is the ground rule all the other ground rules apply that I had on the building a plane cheaper and that is that they have to be generally available they can't be blowout pricing it has to be a normally stocked item it can't be you know you know 
some vendor got a batch of 50 from China and they're blowing them out. That's not what we're after. We're after things that you can do or purchase on a, on a recurring basis. All right, so right off the bat, if you take a look at my spreadsheet, we're, we're looking at a three cell 2230C with an XT60 connector. That's the target. One of the problems I had is that not every manufacturer has a 30C. Some have a 35, some have a 25. So I tried to assign a value to the C rating. So the idea there was I wanted to make an apples for apples price comparison. Now, the problem I have with that is I used Hobby King as the example. They had a 20C pack for $10.60. They got a 25C pack for $10.99. So in that case, you've got a 5C difference for 39 cents. So in, in that in that model, you could say, well, you know, it's about eight cents per <laughs> per C. Then if you look at the jump from 25 to 30, it was four dollars and thirty cents. And then the jump from 30 to 40 was a negative. It went down a dollar and thirty one cents. So in the problem was that there was no real easy way based on market pricing to assign a dollar amount to the, the C, the, the one C capacity for discharge. So with that in mind, I just picked an arbitrary number and I assigned 25 cents per C. If you want to choose something different, that's fine. Go ahead. But that's the number I used. In terms of vendors, I had no specific target in mind, just, just known vendors for LiPo batteries. There's plenty of others out there. I think the sample set is sufficiently random to prove the point. And, and sure, there may be other vendors that are a little higher or a little lower. These are just websites that I know. All right, the, the ones that I use and ones that I know. Okay, so right off the bat, the Value Hobby product. So let's, they have a G-Force branded LiPo. It's a 30C. So if you look at my spreadsheet, I've got the price. There's no adjustment for capacity. They're all 2200, so I made no adjustments for capacity. There's no adjustment for the discharge rate because this is a 30C pack. So no adjustments for that. There is an adjustment of a dollar. If I were to buy this today, I'd have to take their T connector. And when I got it home, I'd have to cut that off and solder on an XT60. So I adjusted that for a dollar. Um, if you use Dean's connectors, you wouldn't have the same adjustment. I put the, put the battery in the cart, put in my address and came up with $3.99 for shipping. The total out the door price, tax tag title dealer prep on this pack to get it to my, my home. $19.89. I put a number two here to indicate where they landed in terms of overall shipping costs. So Value Hobby was the second cheapest shipping cost on my list. Okay, so $19.89 for the Value Hobby brand. All right, Hobby King. They were weird because their 2230C was actually more expensive than their 2240C. I don't know why. I can't explain it. But because that's the substitute I would choose, that's the one I used. So that that battery, $13.98. I gave a negative adjustment for that because it's a 10C improvement over the target. So that effectively reduces the cost. This is how home appraisals are done, same concept. So because it's a better battery, in order to baseline it against the other products, I had to take dollars off, all right? So coupons, by the way, I don't get sponsored, but there's a product or a web plugin called Honey. Use it. <laughs> I have Honey on my browser, and I, after I put all this stuff in my cart and went to check out, Honey said, wait, 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 I found a coupon code, and I hit apply, and it saved me $1.53. So it's a, stand, it's a coupon code, generally available. Just, just use Honey, and um, it applied a $1.53 coupon. The, the shipping, and by the way, that's not uncommon for Hobby King, so I don't mind taking a little bit of money off. Also, if you're a premium member or you sign in, a lot of times you get a cheaper price than their list price as well. So this is what it came out to for me. Okay, so $1.53 coupon. Their shipping was $8.95. I think I've got five vendors up here. They were number four, so they had one of the worst shipping prices out of all of them. But even with that, they still came in at $18.90. All right, so that's the Hobby King product. By the way, these are the batteries I use. These Turnigy Blues, uh, I, I, that's what I use. Okay, Admiral. This is a well-respected product out there in the marketplace. It's, it's uh, Motion RC is the vendor for this particular label. And their battery price, 19 
I gave them a negative adjustment as well because they're the closest I could find was a 35 C pack, right? They didn't have a, a 30 C, so negative adjustment meaning it's better. So I took a dollar 25 off, and I added put it in the cart, put in my address. I came up with a five dollar shipping price. So this pack 23 dollars and 74 cents. Okay, Graves RC. They have the Gen's Ace label, and I went out and did. I went and put their product in the cart and I came up with 19 let's can you see it no there it is 19.99 is their product price I had to do it um, they, they only have a 25 C oh I got this wrong this should be this should be equals 0.25 times 5 okay so the 25 C adjustment is worse that's not is that's not that's not as good so that means their price goes up relative to the others in order to get it on par with the 30C. So in other words, if, if we took this same exact battery and said, I want a 30C version of it, we could expect it would cost a little bit more. It would cost $1.25 more. Also, because this is a T-connector, I would have to chop that off and put on a next T60. So I put a dollar of cost into that. They, because I'm in Florida, this one's going to cost me some tax, $1.30. Their shipping cost was not great uh, seven dollars and thirty five cents for shipping I actually have that backwards too this is Hobby King is number five sorry guys this is number four okay so seven dollars and thirty five cents for shipping and their total out the door price thirty dollars and eighty nine cents so you see where I'm going with this all right let's look at tower Tower is $19.99 for their 2230C, no adjustments for capacity or discharge rate, EC3 connector, so I put a dollar adjustment on that. Their shipping was the worst, $9.99 to ship that, which really surprised me because Tower does so much shipping for free. Uh, if you're a member, they've got their Super Saver Club. I was really surprised to see that cost, and maybe that's because Horizon owns them now, I don't know. But their price came out to be $30.98. And then finally, Horizon. And these are one of my favorites. Because first off, their price on their battery is $10 higher than the next three in a row. So right off the bat, they're, they're $10 higher. No, no adjustments for capacity or discharge rate. A $1 adjustment for that EC3 connector. They are charging tax to send this to me at $2.31. And weirdly enough, maybe it's because they're mugging you on the battery price, but weirdly enough, their shipping was the best. They had the, the, the cheapest shipping. So go figure. It's because they're sticking you on the, on the product price. That's why. Okay, so $36.29. Now, let's, let's do the math, right? Here's the, here's the big reveal. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do the reveal and show you how this all works out. So Hobby King, number one, $18.90. They're the cheapest out the door, even with the worst, among the worst shipping. They're not the worst, but they're up there at $8.95 for shipping. They still come in number one, even though they're sticking you on the shipping. And by the way, little trick on shipping, you can mitigate shipping costs by buying more stuff at a time. So if you buy five batteries at a time, that shipping cost gets split out over five batteries instead of one. So just keep that in mind. Number two is Value Hobby. Uh, I was a little surprised at this because because they uh, I I just never I never anticipated it to be honest with you. Uh, they charge a little bit more for shipping airplanes, but they they seem to be reasonable on their shipping costs for a battery, and they've got a good base price. So I'm gonna keep an eye on these. I might I might even try a couple Value Hobby packs just to give me alternatives to Hobby King. Uh, but they came in at nineteen dollars and eighty nine cents, which is a five percent uptick over the cheapest so five percent more to buy the value hobby product all right number three is motion and i know i know you know the admirals they're widely respected but remember what i said in the beginning there hasn't i can't find any scientific evidence that any particular brand of battery does better or worse than any other particular brand especially given they follow the same construction techniques so while admiral may have some following out there um, if you're willing to pay 26% for a label, then, then go ahead. I mean, you're free to do that, but it looks to me like you're starting to pay a significant delta in 
cost to, to get the Admiral brand. All right. Next up is Tower. This is disappointing because I've always considered Tower, especially with their ARS. I mean, I don't think I don't think Tower can be beat with their ARF selection. I, I just I don't think they can be beat. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but when it comes to Balsa ARF kits and even uh, foam ARF kits, I don't think they can be beat. But on batteries, they're getting their hat handed to them. But this kind of goes in line with the other stuff, like like their tactics, their twenty-two dollar tactic mini servo. You know, this is maybe the planes are lost leaders, and and they're using they're using their other products to make up the margin. But look at this, sixty-four percent, sixty-four percent higher. And eh, let's see, something's missing here. I know what happened. I changed the C rating on on Graves. Well, it's nominal. It's nominal, so I'm not going to worry about it. But 64% higher, and, and, and what I have to do technically is I have to change this. Sorry, guys, I got distracted, but I changed the C rating, and that changed my number. So Tower is actually number five, Gray's is number four, but there's only uh, nine cents worth of difference between the two, so it's kind of negligible. But anyway, 64% higher than the cheapest. Graves, same deal. They've got a good you know base price, 19 bucks. Um, a little bit of an adjustment for the C rating and their shipping, man. Seven dollars and thirty-five cents for shipping. That kind of puts them up there at number four. So thirty bucks. So Tower and Graves, they're kind of interchangeable. But here's my favorite, Horizon. Twenty-nine dollars. So their base price are nailing you for ten dollars more. Cheap shipping, a little bit of tax, adjustment for the connector. But look at this, ninety-two percent higher. And you say, well, John, what what are you talking about? Ninety-two percent higher. Let's do the math. I'm just going to show you how how you calculate this. If you take this price, 1890, that's the cheap one. So 18.9 times 0.92, that's 17 more dollars, and you add that back to 1890, you get $36.29, and that's exactly where this came out. So 92% higher to buy the Horizon product. All right, so. What's the conclusion? What, what's the answer here? The answer is that number one, I haven't seen any material, meaningful, scientific, non-anecdotal evidence that any known LiPo brand performs better or worse over the long term, in flight, on the flight line than any other LiPo battery. If you've got that evidence, show me. I'd like to see it. So that's number one. Number two, all of these batteries can be considered equitable substitutes, meaning aside from the cost adjustments I did for their C ratings and maybe their connectors, they're all equitable substitutes. You could go from one to the next to the next to the next and expect similar performance, okay? And number three, there's a huge difference. If you're okay spending a 92% premium for a battery, keep buying these. And I know they're out there because I see them. So you guys are doing this. People are doing this. Stop it. <laughs> Just do a little shopping. Even if you don't, even if you hate Hobby King, go ahead and hate them, but spend less with them. And if you just can't bring yourself to do it, go to Value Hobby. They're in Illinois. Buy from them. <laughs> you know, they're right in there. They're at least trying to be competitive. So go buy from Value or even Motion. You know, Motion's a little bit higher. 26% though, man. 20, I'll take it. I, you know, you said you'd increase my income by 26%. I'd say I'll take it. You know, give me the money. But, you know, at least Motion, um, they're not really trying to, to hurt you. They're, they're maybe trying to make a good profit, but I don't think they're trying to hurt you. But you start getting up into these numbers, 92, 64, 63, that's not cool, man. That's just not cool. It's a, it's a premium that you shouldn't pay. Stick with the lower cost options, and I'm, I'm confident you'll be happy with the outcome. I'm confident you'll be happy with the batteries. In general, you should be fine. All right, I hope the video has been helpful, guys. If it is, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Your feedback is also welcome, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so when I put up new material, you're told about it. All right, take it easy. I think the sample set is sufficiently... I think the sample set is a sufficient...